Hi guys, my name is Ben Briley. I'm a recruiter, I'm a tech company founder, I'm an entrepreneur, uh, and I'm also someone with a lot of ideas about how the recruitment industry can learn from the tech industry specifically. Um, I've been in the recruitment industry for seven years. I started off at Michael Page. Um, I then, three years later, built my own recruitment agency called Salix. We were a very traditional recruitment agency, uh, and we were very quickly learning that despite the fact that we were qualifying hundreds of candidates every month, important data points, you know, who is available, what are they looking for, uh, what are they good at specifically. Despite that fact, we would only place two or three of those candidates every month. Uh, and we actually looked at bigger businesses and smaller businesses to do some research and we found that these metrics were the same all over the industry. Every single month, one recruiter will qualify around 100 candidates and they will generally place one or two of those candidates. So at very best, we're, what we're saying is the industry was wasting 98% of the product, the, the stock, the, um, the inventory that we're meeting every month or qualifying on the phone every month, we weren't making any money from, which is insane, especially when you consider just how keen hiring companies are to instantly find out who's available, who is good, what money they're looking for, and what are they good at. So when you look at those two things, there's a massive void between what we're doing as recruiters, as, as agency-based recruiters, and what the clients want specifically. So what we did was four years ago, we set up a Google Drive and we decided to populate it with all the candidates that we thought were great, that we'd met that month specifically, or that we'd spoken to and we knew were, were, were looking and open to opportunities. Uh, and what very quickly happened was the clients were delighted with the fact that they could log into this Google Drive and see the great candidates. Uh, the candidates were pretty happy because they were getting more interview requests and, and meetings with interesting potential employers. And of course, we were happy because we were making fees from candidates that we weren't doing any other work for. Uh, we weren't changing the way we operate. We still had our traditional recruitment model. It just so happened that all those customers that didn't want to pay big fees or didn't want to use a recruitment agency, for whatever reason specifically, we had another product solution to give them. And actually, we were in WeWork in Oldgate at the time, and so we had lots of small companies around us that were delighted with this proposition because, of course, they couldn't afford big fees. So what this video series is going to be about over the next couple of weeks is going to be about inspiring recruiters who have ideas uh, to change things for the better, to make our lives better, our productivity better, our profitability better, um, to actually do something about it, to learn about technology or design or UX architecture, whatever it might be, to go ahead and take action and make that dream a reality. But secondly, to tell you about my journey personally, my, my four-year journey now into learning about tech, uh, becoming a tech entrepreneur, uh, essentially from a standing start because I knew nothing about nothing apart from the recruitment industry and recruitment is so interesting to me specifically because I just think there's so much room for improvement there's so much that the recruitment industry can learn from technology and analytics and automation that we just don't know about enough and so next session I'm going to be talking specifically about what I think recruitment can learn from the technology industry both from a sales perspective but from an efficiency improvements perspective right through to operations and little things that we can implement to really make our days better as recruiters and ultimately to make more money, which is essentially why we do it. So thanks for joining me on the first one. Uh, I hope you join me again next week and uh, any insight or ideas that you might have about what you want to hear me talk about, please let me know because I'll be delighted to hear from you. Thanks very much. Bye.